good morning guys, welcome to Flory Models, here we are on Wednesday morning. Oh, thank you for all your questions on last night's Q&A. Uh, went really, really well. I do apologize for the small breakdown uh, we had in communication. It was all going very, very well, and then we got a text from our very own uh, Andy uh, Molyneux uh, on the forum saying, you do realize you guys aren't streaming? And we're like, are we not? So we'd gone on about sort of 10 minutes without knowing we weren't on. Anyway, I've managed to sort of cobble it together so there's a part one part two of the q and a's and to be honest we had some really good questions uh, yesterday so we're talking about these which are little tiny motors and you know general questions that you guys have put to us now today my plan is one is to sort out everything that's behind you i'll show you in a minute uh, but what i'm going to do is somewhat uh, get this all together now originally i was going to put this into primer today and all the rest of it. But I thought it'd be worthwhile for the guys who are coming to the Flory Models barbecue, we've got about 35 people coming, um, to see this in the raw state before it's covered in primer. So that way you can see the riveting and see how I did it. You can have a go with the Rosie the Riveters and everything else like that. The other thing I have got here, which we'll have a look at in lunchtime, is I've got another load of them. I spent $100 on uh, Rosie the Riveters because I am that impressed with them. So uh, very much thank you to John uh, Wojtek at um, uh, UMM in the USA for getting these over to me so quick. So I only actually ordered them last week and they're here already. So thank you very much, John. Still sealed, I'm gonna go through that with you guys at lunchtime and do a little mini review on those as well. As I said, we've got the barbecue coming up uh, this weekend. As you'll see in a moment, this studio is a complete dump and you guys usually come here, you have a go on the sim uh, and then obviously you have a go on airbrushing and riveting and anything you want to do here at the same time as having the barbecue. So I need to clear this, not to mention everywhere else to try and make this look so much, a little bit sort of ship shape. There is a next part of this coming up with you, which is construction part two, which actually gets you to this. Um, but what I want to do is get this together. So I'm probably gonna do the canopy today uh, and all the other bits I can do before we need to get it into paint, which to be honest, there isn't much because a lot of it is done here already, okay? And I did hint at on yesterday's live show that the Saturday morning live is only gonna be two hours, nine to 11, because obviously we need to get things ready for the actual, the barbecue itself for one o'clock. Um, but what we're gonna do is give away a few prizes and there's gonna be a special announcement made there and then. It's only gonna last 24 hours. So if you're not a member, you really wanna watch this, okay? Because uh, it's something a little bit special. But we're gonna give away some giveaways. We're gonna give this set, I've gotta find it. I know it's here somewhere. In fact, where is it? It's here somewhere, the second one. I put it somewhere safe. You can always tell when I put things safe. I'm sure it must be under there, but I will find it because that's going to be a prize. We're going to give away some sanders, some washes, and some other goodies are live on the Saturday morning show uh, as you join us for our special sort of barbecue uh, and everything else like that. So anyway, hinting about this enough, just to show you the state of the place. Um, yes, as you can see, uh, metal's almost all gone now. Uh, generally, because when we do the uh, any type of live broadcasting, a lot of stuff gets pushed to one side, and then we come in uh, to do this. So as you can see, we're a little bit of a dump, but this is why I've got to clear everything off. This is the big news. This is our old computer, which uh, if you were watching any of our live shows, you often hear me mention that the CPU is running at maximum power and the heatage problem. This is it. This computer's four years old now. Uh, it blew up a couple of weeks ago, you might remember, so we had a new uh, power unit fitted into it. Uh, it's not a bad system at all, but it's loaded full of hard drives. This thing's actually got four two terabyte hard drives in it. Um, it's got a solid state hard drive in there. But to be honest, the, the bottleneck was always the processor. It's quite an old processor in there. I can't remember exactly which one it is now, but it's an i7, but it's an, an older i7. I say it's a four year old, three, four year old uh, processor in there. And it's got the GTX uh, 780 graphics card. It was always bottlenecking and everything else like that. So we decided to spend a few quid and we've gone with this bad boy, which if you're on my Facebook, you would have seen last night. Okay, we've had this one built for us. So what this guy is, which as you can see is a lot smaller than the other one. Um, this has actually got in there the GTX uh, 1080, the brand new graphics card. So yeah, uh, this one that has got the Haswell, uh, is it the six core, eight core? See, shows what I know about these things. Uh, but it's the uh, 6800K processor. It's got the Vengeance uh, Corsair, um, uh, I think it's the DDR4-2666 megahertz one on there. Uh, the motherboard is an X99 motherboard for you guys in the know. And then buried in there, which you can't see them, it's got a uh, 500 um, gig uh, solid state hard drive and it's got four Two, well, it's got two two terabytes, as in four uh, normal hard drives in there and everything else like that. But how cute is this, guys? The first one we've had water cooled in, and can you hear it? 
that is like no noise whatsoever because the other one you can actually hear it um, on my uh, microphones and that and it picks it up uh, as we're doing it and everything else. So as you gotta imagine, this thing's still gotta have a few more of our cards put, put in there. It's gotta have the network crossover card gotta go in there. It's also gotta have our capturing cards have gotta go in there. And obviously it needs all the software and the bits and pieces uh, to make this thing uh, obviously up to standard. So to be honest, because I just couldn't wait, um, I plumbed it all in last night just to make sure it was working. And so it got delivered yesterday morning. So I just wanted to make sure it's all okay. It is, and it's absolutely fine. But as I said, because we've got a lot to do and we've got the barbecue at the weekend and we've got a live show i'm actually going to disconnect all of that and we're going to put in this bad boy is going to go back up there just until the end the other thing we've got this is the motherboard box i don't know if you guys are into any of this but this is my other thing you know i'm into my flight simming big time hence whilst we've got dcs going back on there this is if you haven't seen one of these a lot of people say this is the um vive uh, virtual headset the HTC one. Uh, oh, sorry. The thing is, it's a huge box, and that isn't the box it comes in. The box it comes in is that box, which is even bigger. It's absolutely massive. Okay. Now, just to give you guys a bit of a thing, this is how you know where you wonder where your 600 quid goes. I must admit, I got a really good deal on this uh, because I got it at the same time as the computer, so it worked out just over 100 quid off. But there we go. How lovely is this packaging? Okay, so there we go. There's our headset for bonging on your bonts. This is your wand controllers. We've got those for it. And we've got the light stations or the lighthouses, whatever they call themselves. But the packaging is absolutely superb. And I often wondered why it costs so much. I think there's got to be a hundred quid's worth of packaging in this because it is absolutely stunning. It really is very, very nice. Okay, now, um, if anybody's interested in seeing me set this up uh, and all the other bits about me flying online, using it, wanting to know about the bugs, the various things, obviously it's my first time into it. Normally I have multi-monitor surround sound displays like that, but this particular time we're going to go with this, hence whilst we've got the 1080 graphics card in the new system itself. But if it is something that perhaps you'd be interested in knowing about, learning about and all the rest of it, then shoot me up obviously in the forum on the today page or just give this a thumbs up like video and uh, if we get enough likes on it and all the rest of it then um, i'll do a walkthrough of me setting it up setting it up into dcs and obviously my thoughts is it worth the money uh, and all the other bits and pieces but i did get a very good deal we needed a new computer so um, that's that big boy over there or little boy now it's a lot smaller than the old one and we went with that well so yes i know i am being very flash with it all but let's face it you have to make sacrifices every now and again okay so that's about it for now what i'm going to do is is going to get all of this i've got to unplug that computer get the other one installed back in there because to be honest it's what does the capture work for these cameras as well and how i can see what's happening so i need that to be able to do this to show you guys um the next part of this is going to be out which is construction part two which is technically part nine getting confusing now but it's part nine construction two We'll be up on the site around about midday. I'll get that up with you guys with that one. And as I said, at lunchtime, we'll have a little bit of a look in here uh, about the actual, the new stuff from uh, UMM. And John did message me and said he's putting a couple of little extras in there as well. So it'd be nice to see what it is because I haven't got a clue. Still sealed, haven't even looked in there one little bit. So until lunchtime, everybody, take care. <clears throat> okay, so quite a good morning, uh, to be honest. Uh, well, all right, I did have a little play around with the new system, which is, tucked behind the other one now so look both of them down in there so we're back to normal um the other the old system is now running this system and i'm just wondering about having two systems down here and all the rest of it uh don't know about that i'm gonna have to think about that one because obviously could do with another monitor uh i run a two monitor setup as you know for obviously editing doing the live shows and all the bits and pieces like that it's really handy having two monitors so technically i could do with a third monitor for the other one i don't know anyway we're gonna have to work that one out um, down in here, how about a bit of a clear up? Um, been doing a little bit more to this. Been filming this morning 
to be honest, although it probably doesn't look much to you guys, um, I've actually gone round and we've blended and sanded all the surfaces around the control surfaces, the wings and everything else, because we don't want any nasty steps in there like that. We've also said test fitted the engine, uh, the bits and pieces, very happy how that is. We've done a few little more uh, changes to it. The other thing we've done as well is we've done a little bit of a tutorial this morning about uh, masking up. So we've actually used this polyurethane stuff, which is uh, the, um, who are they? Uh, the basic line, uh, which is these ones. Okay, from HEW. So we've used those, and to be honest, they don't fit. Hence, Tamiya tape job on the front. Uh, and again, this front one, I'm not sure. One end, it sort of tapers slightly. One end doesn't. Uh, yeah, don't know why. Okay, so I've had a little bit of thing with that. So anyway, we've recorded that. We showed about masking. We talk about masking and finishing off this guy. So technically, this is all ready for primer. But as I said before, I want the guys to come down at the weekend and to be able to see it as it is now. So if I prime it, you're not going to see the riveting detail. And obviously, I want to show off the riveting detail. So so, um, as I said before, I had a little bit of a delivery in from John. Um, and to be honest, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to clear a little bit of space. Okay, just like this. Uh, we're going to do that. We're going to do that. And then if I, I'm going to be quite clever here. And this is why I haven't set up the other camera. Because the other camera means I can't do uh, something like this. Uh, so yes, so there we go. We should be on this camera now, or you're on this camera. Oh, hey, look, we could run two cameras. I don't know, can the other one see the other one? I don't know. Anyway, so there you go, which camera to look at? Really weird, we have two. So John sent me this. Now, I haven't opened this, and he did send me a little message uh, thanking me for everything that we did. So apologies you see no signal, but I am doing this live, okay? So fantastic job by him, and I honestly haven't got a clue what we've got in here. Well, I do, I hope, hopefully, it's the stuff that I ordered. Plus, he said he's put some things in here as well. So, let me just be somewhat cagey. Now, you know how we were banging on about how great uh, technically these things are. These are the Rosie the Riveters. As you know, and we could probably do this off of all cameras. A bit weird. Okay, um, so he has got a little thing just down in here, which I assume this is the thing that he sent me as well. There's a little thing about it, about some of the details and everything else. I will do a proper review of this, so don't panic uh, too much, okay? But in here, we have a Florida US mailbag. Let's get into it. Okay, so let's see what we have. Right, now, to be honest, this is the bad boys I've ordered, which um, I don't know how well the camera will pick this up. I was that impressed with the others, and I just loved the way they are, that the, this one here is the triplicate wheel. So this has got three tiny little wheels on it uh, in 0.75 uh, millimeter distance. That's a triple one. Okay, I'm gonna have to write on the handles, aren't I, to work all this out, okay. This is a single one mil. I wanted something with a real big one, so I've got a one mil, okay. So that's that one. I've also gone down the route and we bought a 55 as a twin because I do like that scale. Okay, for one sort of 48, I think that is pretty much spot on. Uh, we've got a double wheel, uh, 0.75. Now this is the one that obviously we use most of the time, which is this one here, uh, that we've actually used for doing the, um, the uh, Focke Wolf 190. So I've got a double in that. Okay, so in theory, we've got a triple in, the reason I did that one, let me just try and explain my myth, thinking here we did the single which is this one here okay that's the single wheel that's what we did the 190 in so i think that's pretty much a standard 132nd scale uh riveting uh normal riveting so we've got that as a double and a triple now so again as i say we will play with these and i will do a proper review this is just a quickie one and again we've got a double in the 0.65 Okay, so uh, that's going to go along with my other ones because I've got a 0 0.55 and in a double as well to go along with my single and we've got this guy here as a 0.65 to go along with my single 65. So in theory, I think we've pretty much got this sorted or hopefully we've got this sorted now on the sizing. I'll be honest with you, they're out of stock of some of the other ones I wanted to do and those alone just cost me, those five was a hundred dollars. So it's not cheap, but the way I look at this, as we spoke about before we reviewed them, it's a long-term investment, okay? As in, 
I believe they're gonna last me a lifetime. Everybody I've spoken to said, Phil, they're really expensive, but I've had mine for years and they work like the day I've got them, all right? So anyway, time will tell. What John has sent me is all of this stuff, which I never asked for, and I didn't even realize he's gonna do it. But he sent me some other very nice goodies, which to be honest, I'm gonna to have to look at even how to do. So it looks like we've got a screwdriver. Okay, as you can see down here, although I'm sure it's not a screwdriver, I'm sure it's something extremely clever. Very nice handle on it. We've got that. We've got one of these guys, which is really light. It's like a lightweight aluminium bar. Okay, which again, I'll have to have a look at. As I say, this is completely live. I didn't know we were getting any of this. Okay, we've got one of these, which I was really interested in getting, because don't forget, I have, this is the SCR1, okay? This is the SCR2. So now I've got one of each, so we can test how it's gonna be. I think, believe it's roughly the same, but this has got a better hook on it than this one. Okay, so as you can see, this one is more your sort of 45 degree angle cutting in, but this one's got a far better taper on the end. So this one might be nicer, okay? And it's thicker. I don't know if you can tell the thickness of it, but this one here, the new one, is a lot thicker than my one I've been using so far. So I'm really looking forward to that. He's also sent some uh, round lead wire, 0.2, which is absolutely microscopic. So that looks absolutely very nice as well. Okay, we've got a little business card there. And we've got this bunch of goodies. I think we're gonna have to have a, a proper show. I don't know if I have time to do it tomorrow, uh, but if I can, obviously I will, but if not, it's not. Oh, now this is something, to be honest, he's read my mind. Um, he's lost out on money, because I was actually gonna buy this. This is a hex punch set, 0 0.8 to 0 0.25. And I saw this and thought that would be really, really handy. So, you know, you know, like a punch and die set, but this is hex. So you can make hexy looking punches into things. So I'm thinking like this, obviously armor, various aircraft things, internals, but a lot of it I was actually thinking sci-fi. There's a lot of things I could do with that, as in when we're doing replicas uh, and props and stuff like that. So I did see those and did think, wow. Okay, we've got some foil aluminium sheets okay again quite handy things to have okay and we've got this bad boy which is the punch set which is definitely a little bit weird right okay so which side do you whack it with again on a nice piece of foam and again we've got various punch shapes and sizes just like that. So the idea thinking is that this guy is like a lump of rubber. Um, let's just grab a piece of plastic card, of which I think I a bit down there. There we go. A piece of plastic card. Let's just give this a whirl. Hey, need a hammer. Where's my smaller whack it hammer? Don't want to get my jumbo one. Okay, so let's just assume we're going for. You can get it out. Look, it works perfectly. Look at that. That is absolutely perfect. I love that. Fantastic. Okay, let's have a go with another one. We've got a bigger square one. Okay. John, you're a star and a scholar. Okay, again. Oh, almost. Need a bit more of a whack. There we go. A square. Okay. <coughs> Probably over whack that if I'm honest. Okay, what have we got here? Some type of roundy bit. Completely over hit that, but hey ho, you get what I mean. Okay, or you can just use it, I assume, like an embossed job. You don't have to go all the way through. Okay. So from the other side, you can see it's coming through. So then, gotta have a go on these. Shouldn't do this really, because I should save it for review, but I'm so excited. I am a little kid. Okay, right. Let me just try and slip one of these guys out without being too obvious. So when you watch this back as a review, it looks like it's the first time I've done it. Oh, there goes the Christmas tree. Right, okay. A little one, let's have a little one. Oh God, I'm gonna have to just go in there. Things I do for you guys live. Right, okay. Okay, okay, okay. Making sure we're in. Oh, look at that one. He's fantastic. 
Not the Superman. I probably overhit that a little bit. But look at that guy. This is what we're talking about here. So we can make little tiny details, rivet heads, things like that. Okay, literally just like that, right the way over it. How cool is that? Okay, and I like the way that this tool works because obviously you can whack it down here. I think I just lost that one, it's flown off. There it is. But hopefully, you can see how small that guy is. Look at that, brilliant. Okay, so thank you very much, John, for that. I'm going to get carried away with me doing that all afternoon now. Okay, but there's a nice little setup having that, and then we can put the tools. As I say, back in here, um, I do like the simplicity and the ease. I hate over packaging and all the rest of it, but that I have to say, I quite like. It's nice, simple, straightforward. You can keep it all together, bung all the tools in there, just like that, and we are good to go. All right, but as I said, punch them out absolutely perfectly, no problem at all. And again, you could punch out foil parts, you could punch out anything at all. That's pretty thick to try and go through like that. You could obviously use a smaller one, but as you can see, you've got all the different punch shapes and the bits and pieces. So there we go. Thank you very much, John, for those bits. I will be reviewing them, obviously, a little bit later and everything else like that. I'm probably looking at the wrong camera now. Um, so yes, there we go. That is about it. Uh, hopefully, what we're going to be able to do now is uh, get on and do some more fantastic scratch building and bits and pieces. I will look into these other bits and we'll see exactly what they're about and everything else like that. And then we're going to get a review of them up a little bit later. Anyway, for now, the uh, part two construction of the FW190 is up on the site with you right now. So you can go off and have a look at that one. And then what I'm going to do is catch you all in the show tonight. Okay, so as you can see, absolutely fantastic, interesting day. Got to thank UMM for sending me this stuff. As I say, I never asked for it, completely off their own bat. I intend to do a little bit of a review for this tomorrow, and I'll do it properly. That's why I didn't stamp into this, because I want to do it as a proper review. So that's a little bit into it. And uh, again, I've now figured out what all these tools do as well with a little bit of research. Okay, so um, well, something else turned up in the post today, and I haven't opened it, so it's like mail time which seems to be a bloggy thing to do. Um, I have to thank Hunt from uh, Fort Lauderdale, I assume, in uh, Florida. Yes, and I don't know who it is, but it's made out to Lola Flory, which is amazing. She's not here, but I will definitely get her in. Um, and I haven't got a clue what this is. So, that's down in there. It's just, I don't know if it's part of it or something else. But this is for our lollop, bless her. Just move that. Uh, and this one's, hi Phil, my husband follows you uh, and always calls me on screen when Lola is on. I ought to go and get her really. Uh, we are both saddened to hear about our mishap while she was in boarding, um, but are glad to hear she's on the mend. Uh, I run an all volunteer a boxer rescue in South Florida called Boxer Friends uh, Incorporated. One of our volunteers makes these collar flowers uh, that we sell to help raise funds for the rescue. Uh, they easily Velcro on and off of the collar and can be hand washed uh, and air dried uh, to get rid of the dirt. We thought Miss Lola would look stunning in pink, so uh, we're sending her a couple of uh, collar flowers to help with her recuperation. Please give her a big hus a hug and kiss from me, Fran and Larry Hunt from Fort Lauderdale. Right, let's have a look see. Bless your heart. Oh, wow. Fantastic, thank you very much. Hold on, with the power of editing. Here she is, wearing them. Look, you have to look at camera. There we go, thank you very much, guys. Very much appreciated. As you can see, she is pretty healing up very quickly. Aren't you, sweetheart? Yes, do you like this? You're a big girl at the best of times, you can tell. She is extremely... Well, girly, aren't you? Definitely, so yes, definitely. Look at that, do you look very smart with your collar on. You'll love that, won't you? Gonna say hello to everyone. No, don't over egg your part, otherwise you won't really want to watch me. There we go, right, good girl. Go on then, be gone. Thank you very much for that, guys. That is absolutely stunningly kind of you and everything else like that. Right, I am melting, it's hot in here today, but again, we've got everything going on. So that's basically it from me building. Uh, for this week. 
Uh, so, because obviously we're going to do everything on, I'm going to vlog everything. So tomorrow I'm going to gut this completely, make it all good for you guys. And then when the guys arrive here on Friday, what I'm actually going to do is obviously vlog it. I'm going to put it together. So there will be a show tomorrow. There will be one on Friday. And obviously don't forget about our special live show on Saturday morning, nine to 11 here in the UK. If you're a non-member, watch it because there'll be something for you guys to go off and do throughout the rest of the day. Obviously when we're here and everything else, she can see the flower in the corner of her eye. And she's now doing a lot of this business with it. Leave it alone, you. Oi, come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come, here. come on. You can over egg your part twice. Twice in one day. You can have your dinner in a minute. Oh, five o'clock as well. Right, that's it for us today. Thank you for watching, guys. As I said, special sort of vloggy ones for the next couple of days uh, and everything else like that. Oh, and just to mention, all the medals have now gone. I went down with them all this afternoon. So the rest of the medals have all gone now. Uh, so they should be winging their way to you. Obviously, don't forget, I did the further away ones and the UK ones uh, went out today, the last of those. So uh, definitely like that. So until tomorrow, everybody, happy modeling, take care, and we'll see you all very, very soon. Come on then, do this.